the hell did I not see that before? That's so weird. Am I in frame? Try to make that a little lower. Boom, like that. I level. Okay. All right. So we have vlogging content, pickups, but like kind of like stuff people sent me, and I want to do an on body, and I want to show my support. Uh, and then some fits, some fits of stuff that I have laying around that I haven't like really gone through. So we're gonna do that. So a combination of those three, that's the video. It ain't easy. Let's start the video. Package from, obviously you can read that. Shout out to the blonde. I didn't know they were sending this. He actually sent me the jacket too, bruh. Comes in this super nice bag. Um, but he, originally I had bought the, the black one and he messaged me, he was like, hey, I really want to send this to you um, because I didn't have this color too. And um, I actually don't even have, I mean, this is the usual color for bombers to be honest, but I don't even have a bomber that is this color, not even an Alpha Industries one. So this will satisfy that for sure. This is obviously a take on um, and kind of like a modified version, I believe of the full winter 18 Balenciaga uh, bomber jacket with the like protruding arms. And then also it gets cut high on the shoulders in the front, but in the back, it has like this really weird parachute effect where they, where they cut it sideways like this. <laughs> they sent us food. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So he sent, yeah, so I know sometimes people end up like watching my videos and then they see the bomber and then they buy a hoodie or they buy my hoodie. Sometimes the length don't doesn't really match up with the hoodie, but I believe these match up really well. And then we have the track pants. I'll show you a photo of what these really look like. Um, and then also I'll, I'll try to try it on for you guys and show you. I don't even have any track pants, so this is dope. All right, I hope that uh, I can fit in the frame because you can like adjust this little bottom area to like make it sit over the pants which is pretty cool but um yeah hold on let me let me put on the other the other part so i want everybody to know that it is super hot right now i'm burning up i don't i don't think that these shoes you know matter of fact hold on let me see if I have a different shoe so maybe try this because this might be too matchy matchy but Oh boy, I am sweating right now. I think the white shoes are better. Yo, I'm full, I am full on Korean streetwear Instagram explore page right now. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Boy. Okay, all right, I gotta take this off. It's way too hot in here. Oh my God. Call Linda's sandwich. Hi, uh, number six with uh, egg. Uh, no, no, no coffee, no coffee, just the number six with egg. Oh uh, yeah, that's it, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Maybe they don't recognize my voice, but. Anyways, you already know where I'm going. I'm gonna go get a sandwich, but I'm gonna get some different coffee, cause, um, yeah, I'm getting different coffee. I'm actually stopping by, uh, across the street from Linda's. They have this other Vietnamese sandwich shop. It's called Bun Me Oven. And they sell like jumbo, like jumbo bun me's. I'm not getting a sandwich, I'm getting their coffee because their coffee is like stronger. Small uh, coffee, nice coffee. Oh, thanks. Yeah, anyways, come check them out, man. It's a Bun Me Oven, Vietnamese specialty sandwich. This is a lot stronger. In that Linda's wah. Thank you. Linda sandwich go to all oh, so crazy. Number six with the egg. I'm telling you guys, if you don't get it with the egg, I don't know what to say, bro. I'm gonna grab some more white teas real quick. Uh, yeah, same place as usual. Whoa, that's actually pretty dope. What the hell? I've never seen this. I've never seen this.
Nah, that's it. I'm back for sure. Oh, no, it's good. Thank you. I know you're probably watching this. You're like, bro, didn't you just do this in the last video? Yeah, I did. I did. But, uh, might I say, last time I bought the larges, and I've been doing, like, push-ups and shit like that, and I'm like, now I'm wearing the large, and I'm like, God, shit kind of... Like, the armpit area, you know, it's, like, a little too high. It's kind of like, it feels like someone's lifting you up. So I'm like, let me go get the XL. You feel me? I bought a tall tee, too. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I bought a tall tee. <laughs> Just for kicks and giggles, man. Look at this one, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is like a motherfucking pillowcase. as <laughs> a curtain. But, yeah, I'm going to bring these to the tailor, of course. Play Bass Rock by Jay Stylin and Juice. Hello. Good, how are you? Long time, we didn't see you. Yeah, only only a couple days. <laughs> okay, now what happened today, Kay? How are you doing? I'm pretty good. You're really yeah, good? so good. <laughs> it's okay. the same same thing. Oh, same? Yeah, just uh, uh, cut the bottom. Inch, how many inch of cut shot? I, I think it's like one just or something. One inch? What did I do last time? Uh, I don't like that. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. There's only three. You look like again. More weight. I look like gain weight? Right. Really? Exactly. Maybe okay. because my hair is longer now. Yeah. No, your face. Your face bigger. What? Get bigger. I'm fat now? You fat? I'm fat. <laughs> you, you fat now. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm true 100%. It's 100%. <laughs> okay, thank you. Right. Just making my rounds, man. You know, got to get my coffee. Yeah, got to get my teas. Uh, shit. I'm going to hit the mall. But if not, I'm going to head back and get to the rest of this video real quick. Oh, yeah. 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 Get to the rest of this video real quick. All right, so for the next fit, we got uh, this package that I bought right here from uh, got it from eBay. Let me open it up right now. In all its glory, a brand new pair of Jabos. These are the mother. Out of like means right here, bruh. Bro, these really still brand new. They still got the tags on them. Oh my god. I think these are a 34. Bruh. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I got um I got some shit. Bro, remember back in the day when everybody used to match top to bottom? It'd be like shoes, t-shirt, hat, shoelaces, all matching. Hold on, I'm not I, I'm not done. I'm not done. Hold on. Alright, I got the perfect white t-shirt for this your boy going crazy right now bro this is the woo, this is that motherfucking corner boy you feel me right here i actually got one more piece for this hold on all right when i tell you i be killing them i tell you bro i really be killing them in these the matching red stitch i just need me a, either a sidekick a metro phone a burner phone you know hey hit me on my burner phone man i'll see you in 15 minutes in the jack of the box parking lot man this is, this is how you gotta stand in this you just gotta stand like this you know if this go crazy, this is the Y2K thing for sure. Look at this. It's only $78 retail. I got these for like 56 bucks. I be trying to tell them, man, we got them two for 10, man. Two for 10. Matter of fact, we got them three for 10. We got them three for 10. I'm taking this shit off right now. Right. Headed to uh, Valley Fair because I'm linking up with Everett. So let's head over there and see what he talk about. Where are you at? I'm at the parking lot. I don't know which way the back is. Uh, there's only two entrances to Nordstrom, so I don't know which. Uh, I don't know which one you're at. Oh, but you're in it. Are you on the? Oh, there you are. I see you. What's up, man? How you doing? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Too. Yeah. Woo -woo. Damn, you're back and forth to LA all the time, man. Yeah. God damn. Six hours. Oh really? Yeah. That took y'all six hours to do this? Six hours. What the? Yeah, that's large. Mmm. How'd you guys attach this? We use like a like a little, a, little thing. A waxed um I don't know what you call it, like string that we bought. I was moment of truth, man. This motherfucker don't fit, boy. <laughs> Shit's fit. Yeah. Thank it you, man. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. It's dope, man. Yeah, everyone got theirs in this week, so. Yeah, been, I was seeing cool some scene. of it on, on Snapchat. I'm like, I think you might have seen this. I don't know. 
I haven't seen this one yeah. in person. Nice. What size you? I'm a size large, probably. What kind of jacket is that? Supreme. No John, way. John oh, the the new. It came out a while ago, it came or out like I think a couple seasons ago. Oh, okay. John Coltrane. I kind of recognize it. It's all like stitched too. Oh, it's embroidered. Yeah. Wow. I thought it was like a, a heat press or something like that. This is large. Yeah. Do you know how tall are you, dude? Oh, this is. Oh, dude, you got the pla You got the platforms. Six, you got. You got like six <laughs> this, right? Oh yeah, that shit fits you. This is large. Yeah, that's a large. Yeah. And this fool over here. Okay, baby. Hey, that's how you are they them. comfortable? They are. They're more comfortable than the troopers. The troopers is the. the one with like the square toe and. Oh, 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 yeah. You mean the, the Mojo Jojos? Kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I beat these to shit, dude. These are like kill drags. That was a Kodo. Yeah. That was like 1100 or something like that? Nah, they're like, I got for six. Oh, damn. That's not bad. I wanted to actually check out Balenciaga when we go in there. Yeah. I haven't been in there in a minute. It's cool. It's a lot thinner. Yeah. Maybe because it is vegan, but. Bro, are you saving your money, bro? You, you, you better be. <laughs> Hope you didn't forget what I told you, man. No, 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 no. Hey, <laughs> and them taxes are serious, bro. You better, you better save that money, man. Yeah, I went here with Daniel a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I haven't been yet. I'm sure, it's just like the same thing, but wow. <laughs> How you doing? Wow, they have so much more now. These are the rhino things. Yeah, uh, that was like their temporary because this used to be the old one. Yeah, I like these, but the leather <laughs> quality is like. Are too stiff for you or something? No, it's just like. I don't really like how the toe is so massive. Oh yeah. That's I wish it was like not, you know. Like more tape. But I yeah yeah. I understand it's like a military thing now. What are you getting these, bro? Never. <laughs> I heard these are really uncomfortable. Oh, they gotta be, bro. <laughs> Sure, the Dexter's Labs? I don't even know how they do it, man. These are hot right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, think it's I don't know about that one. These are not bad. I wonder if it really, like, you know? Hey, man. <laughs> not bad. That's what it is with Yaga sometimes. It's like you see it on Sense, and then it just looks like some regular, regular, yeah. overpriced, but then you see it in person, you're like, oh. It's like a garment bag, too. Oh, like Ikea? Yeah. Yeah, that killed it for me. Oh, buddy. Can I get a size in these or should I ask her up there? Oh, yeah, give me one second. Um, what size do you need? 43, I think. You could try this one on real quick. And, uh, oh, there's a black one. Do you want to try this one for size? Let's see. It's so yeah, cute. I might as well go with the red one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's actually funny. So, Kanye, when we got these, he like said he needed everyone on his team to have it. But, I mean, he's an artist, he has all this project, so the whole company is going to chance for all of these shoes to give it to him. They're called these standards. <laughs> really? I mean, they definitely like rock back. It feels like you're like tipping forward, kind of. They're funny, dude. <laughs> Do they actually spring on the back? Like, yeah, a little bit. There's a little bit of shock. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want a pair. Just to have them. Yeah, just to just fucking just fuck around. Kanye bottom. Ever since they dropped the first one, I think it was like a yellow color. I was like, that's kind of dope. I feel like you need like extremely baggy pants with these or something. You got oh, both. Yeah, you got both. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. Hey man, man's is flexing with two different Yaga shoes on. They're honestly the black ones aren't that bad. Oh, you mean the look? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. They're pretty cool, man. I can't lie. They're definitely a moment. Like at the end of the day, people are like. It's a lot of craftsmanship. People always have. Has to... anyone like ran in them yet? I don't think ran it, but people bought them actually. Someone had a checklist. Sweet. Yeah, they always got like small little details like that. It almost looks like it's printed on too. Thank you. Thank you. I'm actually pretty impressed with this store. It's definitely an upgrade. <laughs> you have to look, dude. <laughs> uh, this is the, no this is the Balenciaga lookbook. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? It's like raver, 90s raver with like designer and like a gas mask. Yeah, all right, well. That's why I give them the utmost credit, dude. Like, 
nobody like you create a shit stuff. Exactly. You know, to be that out there and still have people buy it is pretty insane. What what would be weird for them now is to do something normal. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like yeah, if you came out with an essentials line, like that would be weird. They have one. It's like there right now? Unisex. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I want to I know what, I know what you're talking about. I was like, oh damn, what's up, dude? That's it. Yeah, that was pretty random. I'll be able to since you guys stayed in the store. For sure, thank you. I've seen your videos on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> I've seen those sure. like, that you guys bought. You bought. Oh, okay. Like, um, those ones? Did you get those or? No, nah, I bought from Prada before. I never bought those though. Yeah. Oh, I think it might have been Balenciaga. Oh, okay, the, the tracks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was always buying them here, so. Yeah, that's what's yeah, up. You, um, have you been in here before or is this your first time? I've been here a couple times. Okay. Yeah, cool. but I haven't been recently. Don't you have the uh... That was Nolan. Nolan has that. Uh, those look uncomfortable. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the glove with the pockets actually from last uh, fall winter. Does you guys sell it without the pockets? Um, not in that nylon material. We had that knitted one with the red uh, stripe. Mm, I got... Uh, I got my oh, okay. tet and cell phone gloves. <laughs> they got the, the fingertips, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah they got yeah, the yeah. little the little thing on there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they work for now. What do you need gloves for nowadays, like during these weathers? Usually when I'm filming outside, it okay. gets when it gets like really cold out. I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna need the all jean fit, dude. <laughs> Bro, you could get those at um uh, man, SJB got those. SJB got them right there. Woo boy! Break out the champagne, man. Chilling in a hotel. That's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. Thanks, man. What was your name? You gotta you got tuck, the, tuck the pants in, man. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking of Balenciaga, this is this is like the, the Yaga starter pack. Literally. Like, <laughs> I just found out about Demna starter pack. This is the Speed Hunters Balenciaga hoodie. It's very thick. Um, almost feels double layered, but it's not. And then we have the black and white snowboard jacket where it's cut in a little variation to the side. So no matter how you stand, it always looks like this. And then this is my substitute for black vintage wash Balenciaga denim. Um, but this is actually my own brand with uh, my print on the back and on a kind of like a vintage wash straight tapered ish look. I, I just think it looks better when you have like a bigger um, or just like an oversized and then you got the bottom to be a little little skinnier like not not skinny skinny but just a little tapered on the bottom you know literally the only thing i'm missing right now is that if i swapped out these pure platinum for the expenditures bruh come on dude i, I would literally be a balenciaga mannequin at that point <laughs> I'd, I'd be standing off front of the store like this <laughs> like all day bro you know but this is more of a layering thing i don't know this is one of the fits let's move on Oh my God. These are not babes, nor are they Air Force Ones, but I did have to do a little quick shout out to my guy, Ray, uh, for boots. He sent them over to me. And I did put them with some slimmer uh, pants, which is funny though, because these, this denim is actually a straight pant and it's supposed to be baggy. Four years ago, I went to Self Edge and I asked the employee and I was like, hey man, give me the baggiest iron hearts you got. And he gave me these, which is a 14.5 ounce straight cut, not even tapered, but I've washed and dried them so many times, I guess they, whatever, and it shrunk like crazy. And um, now they just kind of look slimmed out. They look like slim tapered now, and they just kind of work through this. Uh, as far as the jacket goes, this is a 14, or no, this is a 15.5 ounce raw denim jacket. This is my own brand, this is a Haven Port. It has a quilted silk lining on the inside, selvage detail. It is more of a regular fit, it's not, uh, oversized so i just thought it kind of works for this you know and then just like a vintage washed uh t-shirt yeah anyways that's a fit I, I can't i can't come through with all baggy fits <laughs> i had to do one tapered something a little different and this was a uh, this was this was the one i guess so moving on okay um if you've been a long time supporter of, uh, of my channel, you know this fit, bro. This is kind of what started it all. I mean, well, it started Haven Court for the most part, because this is the very first pair of 
uh, rolls that I made, um, or double knees that I made, and the factory didn't get it right. I guess they thought that this was supposed to be open at the time, and that's how I know this is the very first pair. Um, yeah, so, you know, I made these, it was like a 15.5 ounce raw denim, uh, double knee, and I had no idea what I was doing at the time. <laughs> and then if you guys have watched this video, that, you know what I mean? That video, like, that started a lot of stuff. You feel me? With the Dickies jackets. I rock the large. I'm about 5'11", for those that always ask that question. 992 um, and or 993 New Balance. Like, right. This is... This is all me right here. I don't really wear these pants anymore though, because they just don't really fit that well. Uh, I, I kind of gained a little bit of weight, so they're a little bit tight, but I don't know if I'd ever sell them. They're kind of like, this is more so a reference piece now at this point. A lot of people have always kind of known me for this right here, and still do somewhat, depending on what the piece is and stuff like that, but this is like 2020 me. Like I, don't, I, I still dress like this, but there's an updated portion of I, I don't know here look why don't we just when i show you i'll show you some updated parts so um I, I can hardly call like this transition of what i just showed you like that fit the very first work pants that i ever made or the the work denim that I ever made and then like the dickies eisenhower I'd, I'd hardly call that to this what you're looking at like an upgrade because I don't really look at clothing that way I just look at I look at it piece for piece like if it's something that I like that's better and then I move on to that thing um, but this is in t pretty much the same exact look this might not be the best example because these uh, I didn't tailor these yet but these are the sample pair of double knees that we'll be re-releasing re uh, we're gonna do a redux for them because that being the very first pair that I ever made and then making these is just like a re-release of the same thing, uh, except improved like material, improved rivets, imp like a lot of other improvements I'll probably get into in another video. Um, but yeah, so the fitting is a lot better in my eyes. I mean, it fits me. It's not so tight anymore. <clears throat> and then the jacket, it basically is a Dickies Eisenhower, except, you know, you're not gonna get this like little flare in the back here. This is the CDG work jacket that I've shown. I've shown this jacket at least like four or five times already. It's just the shaping of it. It's just incredible. You know, they did, they, they made this, it's just, I, think, I believe this is CDG shirt. Yeah, it's CDG shirt, but it's just an incredible jacket. They did a really good job with this. I can't get myself to ever let it go as far as it stands, but it's a perfect for a certain type of weather. It's perfect because of the, the inside kind of feeling like a bomber, kind of feels like an M1 um, Alpha Industries bomber on the inside, but yet it still has that like work jacket look perfect really just perfect uh but yeah so this is like this is like 2020 actually what would make it 2021 like 2020 going into 2021 would be this like this this would be a keezy keezy fit for show maybe a different hat all right so 2020 2021 2022 this is what i wear on a daily basis. Uh, yeah, this, and then also, if I were to swap it for the uh, the old wool, here near the same thing. The same thing, but not the same thing, right? If you have the the leather arms compared to not having the, the leather arms, but this is the same exact cut, all wool, 100% wool. Um, and damn near everything I'm wearing besides my shoes is my brain and my socks and my boxers. Like, this is me. This is me, this is me, this is me. <laughs> I don't know if you can kind of see the progression, but like I've kind of come to a point now where like I just kind of make it. If I want it, if I want it, if I want it, I'm just gonna make it now. And it's just, it's not that simple. It's more complicated than that, but that's kind of where I'm at. As far as the shoes, these are the snakeskin uh, Air Force Ones. Um, they, the, the resale firm is kind of high for whatever reason, but when they came out initially, they, I think they sat. They might have sat or people didn't really care about it. I think they came out of ComplexCon. But I just like the, the contrast of the, the swoosh, the laces being black, like a pop of black and then the black bottom. And also they colored in the air. Super important to me. Maybe not be important to other people. Uh, but yeah, pinwheel hat. Talked about it before, but very important because, uh, you know, the way in which it's made. So. 
if you look from the top, you're gonna see the gray outline. I know that it's kind of dark right now, it's hard to see it, but you're gonna see the gray outline, the same color of the, the side panels, um, which I made sure of that because that's how old the pinwheels were back in like 05, 04, you know what I mean, 2006, or even the NBA pinwheels, they would do the same theme. It would never be like a gray bottom with like a pinwheel, like it's like almost never, like unheard of back then. Um, but anyways, I know a lot of people, some people kind of inquired about this, but some people haven't. So as it stands, it's just a one-on-one. I have more to show, which I don't know if I'm ending the video here or not, but this is it. A bunch of black clothes that has small variation to the next one. <laughs> no joke, you know? I mean, I can, with this being so kind of like mundane, I could just put this on. Ugh, essentially the same thing. T-shirt's kind of up high enough, like damn near perfect length. So it doesn't like pop out in the back and uh yeah this oh man i love this jacket oh my god never let, letting this one go as far as the pants go these are straight cut like vintage washed uh my first pair of like vintage washed um black uh denim and then it's funny i was at chipotle and this dude was like and after I was like eating my food and then bro came up to me and he was like, hey man, where you get your pants? And I'm like, oh, I make them. And he's like, what, you make those? He's like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, I noticed it because you like, you got more pockets on the back, but they're lower. I'm like, yeah, I did that because like, I did it because I got a lot of shit in my pockets that I, you know, I need, but I don't want to carry it up here. Cause like when you sit down and all these other kind of things, like, and he was pretty interested, so, you know, shout out to him or whatever. But, uh, yeah, like, as far as, like, what I carry in here, I carry, like, earplugs. You never know when you need earplugs. Um, I carry tape measure, a little happy face tape measure, centimeters and inches, because, you know, when you go shopping for pants or, you know, clothing and stuff, you kind of want to know what the measurement is. Uh, I have a pair of gloves here, work gloves. I have cell phone gloves here. These are work and cell phone gloves. You can also lift with this, but when it comes to splinters, this might not be the best, but it definitely worked for a cell phone when I'm uh, droning and shit like that. Here I have like a cell phone wiper, um, but just a lot of stuff, you know, that I need in my pockets that um, it's like a, I don't know. I feel like I'm just like fixing certain things that I need. And it's like, all right, cool. Well then put it, put it on the pants, <laughs> make, make it work, man. <laughs> Make it work. So whether or not these will come out, I, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I have no idea if I'm ending this video here, but we'll, we'll cut to some other stuff. All right, so uh, I am ending this video here because I am tired of changing clothes for the video. <laughs> I'm tired of this, bro. How do, how do these other people make these videos where they're like 30 fits in five minutes you'd be like whoa dude that's a lot of changing <laughs> you know what i mean um but anyways if you can let me know what you guys think in the comments about which whichever one that you liked whatever number it was or what piece it was or whatever so i try my best i try my best i do have some vlogging footage after this um at the end it's gonna kind of cut a little abruptly because the audio was kind of bad but i thought it was good to add to the end of the video so so i appreciate y'all and Enjoy the footage. Headed to uh, Vail's place right now because uh, he got a bunch of new shoes in and some of them are, one, one of them I don't want to say because he, I think he put it on his snap story, but I just want to see it in person and uh, we're going to go kick it and shit like that. Let's get it. What's up, fool? What's up, Reverend? I didn't so think you were home, home for a sec. Yeah. Oh, dang, you up. All the shoes, boy. These are all new. Uh, oh, this yeah. or this not you? Huh? Or this not you? That's all me. That's me. Hi, Lay. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Mhm. Mm <laughs> uh, what what time? What time you close today? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have appointment tomorrow, right? Uh, uh no, no, but I just I just want to see what time you close today. Ah, uh, we close at six o'clock. Okay. Uh, I'm. I think I'm gonna head over. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> what car we taking? You know how the parking is over there next to that, with, at, that, at that lady? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Street parking? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what we got, man? Uh, man, we got some, uh, we got some cargo. Came to go see the Taylor lady. 
feel me? Is that the re-release? Nah, nah, these are the, the old ones. Pair, 2018 pair, I believe, one of those. Oh, those are those are good beaters for you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I never found those that that comfortable. I remember my Yeezy days. I still kind of want some of the boots that he made back then. The desert boots? Nah, I tried that one. The other, there's like two other ones. I can't remember the name. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Is it the 700? No. Uh, it, no, not seven. Um, they look like the, the duck boots. Yeah, they almost look military-ish. Yeah, yeah those are pretty, they're pretty tight. Yeah, they, are. they go for the hot now too, don't they? Yeah. Hello. 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 How are you? Hi, how are you now? Good. How are you? Yeah, I brought, I brought my friend here. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Uh, I have two pair of cargo. Okay, do you want try on? Uh, no, no, I want to um. Copy that. Yeah, just copy that. So. For what? For the length and for the, the size. The length and this and the size. Perfect. I'm so happy. Really happy. Love you. It's all. It's all good. You can call me Bell. Bell. Okay, good. That's good. good. We'll go with that. Like that, easy, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll go with Bell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Let me on. Actually, stay still. Uh, yeah, for the most part. Oh, no. my mind being <laughs> racing a thousand miles an hour. Bro, what? Mercedes Benz Virgil Abloh. Yeah, I think it isn't like a coupe or something. It's like a like a, a rugged coupe. Oh, there's clothing though. Oh, it's a clothing line too. Yeah, I mean, there's pieces. I mean, these look like more like a when you go into the dealership, they sell it. Whoa. What are those? Um, uh, let's see. We're gonna start. Let's kick it off now. Okay, might, as well. might as well. Man. Might as well. We're already here. We no this man didn't even open it. He's got so many shoes. Man. Good job, shoe. Good job. <laughs> Good job, sneaker. Nah, so these are a pair of. Oh, this is a little mini thing. Little baby panda. Oh, because you couldn't hit on the bigger size. Is that. Right, right. But I got these. For, I for like a Black History Pants. Month thing? Uh, if I'm if I'm correct, the story is um the, the sorority that Jordan was a part of in college. Uh, another, in college. another story. Another story. Uh, <laughs> just another. Right. I think the quality are pretty good on these though. It was a lot better than I expected. I was watching, I haven't watched the sneaker channel in a while. I forgot who I was watching, but they were like, he started reading the story of it. He's like, matter of fact, I ain't even gonna read this because it always says the same thing. It's always like, Jordan, we tried to, or tried our best to have it the closest we can to the Chicago. It's like, bitch, then just make, make the, the Chicago. Make the Chicago, man. Well, stop playing with us, man. Pretty soon they gonna have the Jordan one with the color of the breakfast. <laughs> so the color of Jordan's favorite breakfast. <laughs> Be before his, before his game. The breakfast ones. The oatmeals. People, right. Yeah. The green eggs and ham. All right, come on, man. Uh, yeah, we got these. You know, these are classic. Yeah. Everybody know what these are. The, the classic hood shoe. Yeah. I, I, okay. All right. All right. Well, I mean, it is, though. It is a classic hood shoe. It is the most it classic is. hood Jordan ever. But it's a, it's just a, it's just an iconic. Scene. I mean, what else falls into the, the hood category? It would be like these. Uh, 13s. Yeah. 13 is, 13 is, is a hood shoe. And like a fusion. A foam. Foam is the most. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Black Air Force One equivalent. We got the heights at the bottom. Cardinal threes. Didn't these sit? Uh, I've seen them in the store. Why? Uh, these is off of the early access. Georgetown. Oh, yeah, they did a good job with these. Yeah, and they yeah, did the like swoosh those. really nice. Yeah. Good job. I like the, um, the tongue too. I was at that sale. Yeah, yeah. If I was buying. Ones. ones I'd uh, I would have I would have went for this one. Comes with a pair of blue laces. It'd be dope if they came with sail laces too though. That this is one of those ones where you get it and you're like, mm, should I wear it? I know I don't really <laughs> want to wear it, bro. Honestly, I made those buy you Air Force Ones that same. Oh, color, like man. well, the gray is a little different. It's a little. Lighter it's a little here. yeah lighter here. Clean though. Yeah. This packaging is different. I don't remember ones ever coming like that. I get, I oh, because it's like the eighty. Oh. So they you know they do the most. I asked you last time if you saw that. Remember that that ad, East Bay ad? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got we got Jordans for twenty five dollars. <laughs> all the rarest ones. Yeah, yeah they're exactly. all on sale right now, Honestly, guys. That's going for, for thousands today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was surprised though. I hit on sneakers with these early access. That's what's up. I usually never hit on sneakers. So did Lonnie hit too? He did. Yeah. He did. Oh, that's already oh, out. Sick. Yeah. Oh, I thought it didn't happen yet. Oh no! It happened the day I was with you guys last time. Mm -hmm. Classic yeah. man. Those are those are one of his most iconic sneakers. We don't even have to talk about that. Bro. I wish there was a way where they, this wouldn't crack when it um, start peeling. My, yeah, on my other pair, it's already peeling. It's already like on the third, fourth uh, wear on those. They start cracking. Really? Yeah, I'm, I, that's what I remember. Which one do you think is more iconic between these or the turtle doves? Turtle doves. I'm gonna have to say turtle dove, but that I mean that I mean they're almost it, because it was first. 
Because it was first? Makes yeah, sense. yeah. Makes but sense. for the dad shoe movement, that shoe right there is like the, that one. It was it was two months before the Triple S, I think. Right. Yeah. I'm hearing people saying that they're comparing these to Jordan 1s, saying that these are his Jordan 1s. Oh, as far as like impact, I guess? Right, right. Uh. It's like the shoe that started it all. Yeah. But if it wasn't for those, we wouldn't have this silhouette. And I love this silhouette. Is that your second pair? Uh, yeah, I got three of these. <laughs> Damn, man. You like it that? No. No! <laughs> I got to pair for myself, and I got two more to sell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got to make up, man. You know what I mean? As if you didn't even buy it, right? right, right. I, I do like this one a little better. Yeah. It like, blends a little more. Maybe not as much contrast, I guess, maybe. And uh, so this, this outer leg glows in the dark, glows orange. They all do. Yes, but they all don't glow orange. Oh, glow orange. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. And actually, all of them don't. Like, the first sad flowers, I don't believe those glow in the dark. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. The They're one not translucent like this. The one I did, the fake was real video. It, it did. The, it was, the fufu the white, one did. The solid, the solid white? Yeah, but I don't know at what time that one dropped. I may, it might have been one of the first ones. I don't know. But mm -hmm. I've, I've fallen off. I haven't really bought Yeezys in so long, you know? Yeah, I didn't think the solid solid whites uh, go in the dark. Then we got these, which is a... It, this is interesting as fuck, bro. This is my first time even uh, a cop. Oh, the slippers? Nah, nah. These are the... Oh, you got the dumplings? Yeah, I got the dumplings, <laughs> boy. I got the one boy. <laughs> You got the chocolate dumpling, boy. Yeah. You, you tried on? Go crazy on foot, yeah. Man, I did not expect for you to buy these. Yeah, they go crazy on foot, bro. <laughs> I know, I know, but they go crazy on foot, boy. You did know, Lonnie get a pair of those? He did. Though. He did. He just sent me, bro. Hold on, look. He just sent me. Just seen the screenshot. Like he struck out on the. Day. Is it like super flexy? Like if you um. Um. Yeah, it's bendable. But I mean, I'm not gonna do it. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny, dude. It. That's hilarious. Oh, there you go. He just hit. Some there you go. Yeah. I wouldn't even know what pants. I feel. I feel like maybe a super baggy pants to kind of cover the whole damn thing. I don't even know. Well, yeah. You don't. You don't want to wear joggers. <laughs> Tell you that. You want something that's going to cover. Come on, man. Just bring back those zipper pants with the biker. You know what I mean? Hey. That would work for this. I mean, you're not going to yeah. see me in it, but that would work, though. You want something to fall over the back of this shoe. I don't think I've ever seen anyone style those yet. Like, no? not. I mean, I might have seen it, like, just some of those, like, hype kids on search feed, but I haven't seen someone seen really, real really try to... Actually, I don't think I've seen them in real life. I've seen them in the store, but not, yeah. like, on foot. Not on foot. Yeah. Nah. I think they're, I think they're sick. When I first seen them, I didn't, I didn't like them. That was one of the ones that I thought that the the concept drawing looked way better than its outcome. Because it was more of like. Well, also it's a concept drawing. It's kind of like seeing concepts of cars, and then when you see them in real life, you're like, yeah, okay, well that wasn't really what I thought. Let's see, let's see if it changed your mind. I wonder what he really thought though. I guess maybe you know, yeah. I, I mean, I guess he was just gas, you know. <laughs> I feel like with like some camo cargo or like some tree leaf camo cargos or something right comfy yeah. of course probably i would need probably a... got like that foam shit in there maybe uh, it is comfy it's no foam though you blend in with your carpet i mean they, they look cool they look cool they look dope looking down I mean, like, yeah looking down people. at them yeah yeah yeah. Them. but i think i would need like a baggier pant for these it's a futuristic thing for sure yeah uh what else oh yeah Unless it's, the it's, real it's, shit these are cool i feel like your channel your, your channel like the, I the, the, the <laughs> yes. We do these last. I feel like a lot of people like these, so we'll do these last. That's oh, 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 oh. <sighs> so, I mean, I feel like everybody and their mama got a pair of these by now. So, I finally got one. Oh! We got the panda. Let me see this. The so, panda then, one. so they, so they did the older. Wait. Yeah, I should have bought. You still can, it's still up. Nah, they sold out of pure platinum. Pure platinum. Oh, really? Yeah. I, or I mean, I, I, when I checked. Oh, Because then someone, I was messaging someone, or I was messaging JP or Jared, and he was like, oh yeah, I, I told you, bro, you should have got it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, great. Well, here we are. These are dope, though. So you uh, did you did change the mid-panel color. Uh, yes. It's like a, uh, no, 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 this. isn't. That's not white, is it? Oh, it is. It's white. Oh, I'm going colorblind. That looks different. Well, yeah, it's different materials too, though. It's leather and that's rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And it's, it could be the lighting in here as well. Yep, that's all you need, man. A pair of Raws, get that white tee going and a fitted, bro. You'd be on your motherfucking way, boy. I really fuck with the, the toothbrush. Does it say something on there? 
Uh, I think it just got a Nike check on it. Oh, it's a toothbrush? Yeah. Oh shit. But one thing I am disappointed about, um, and it happened on both pairs. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Which is... Uh, I don't know, uh, what is it? You won't be able to tell. Oh, it's not the anniversary leather? No. So it's not that. It's... So this particular, like, round of... You know materials that they had. I do. You know yeah. how they. You know how they change it every time they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come out with one, right? So this one had the metallic on it, and if you look at, if you look there, can you see that little sparkle in it? Oh. Uh, see how that's actually metallic? Yeah. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. Or not. It can. It can kind of see. Yeah. So they don't give you a, a matte colored one. No. Nah, so it's metallic, right? Yeah. The check is supposed to be metallic as well. It's supposed to be metallic. Oh. So that's how I made it. I made it with the Nike check. It will be the same. Oh. But and then, then they. It up. They didn't do it. It's not metallic at all. It's just regular leather. Man, when you hit that chargeback, boy, oh, you no, know. <laughs> it bummed me out because I was I was expecting for for the check to be metallic black. Yeah, I thought that would be fire. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's the same panda, but it's just a little different. Yeah, that's what I try to do. Yeah, but, nah, it's still fire though. That's okay. your first pair of panda. Uh, yes. Everybody need at least one. Got to. You got to. A little panda, and then of course, of course, this. Maybe they watch my video, dude. I hope so. <laughs> Nike, hope, Nike, if you're watching, so. please let us do this. Can we also change the uh, the stitching as well here? That would be great. Yeah, that'd be fun. And then yeah, the white line too, or yeah, whatever that line thing is called. Yeah, that would be right. great. That would change. And also, actually, back in the day, remember you could change the stitching on the the oh, swoosh and everything else. Yep. Yeah. The stitching, I'm I'm okay with stitching around the whole mother. You know what I mean? Let me swap the holes. Oh, that, that's what I'm saying. They used to let you change the color. Yeah. Like you can do white, red, and yeah. yeah. No, that would be. Hard. That's hard. Yeah, well, once you allow too much, you know what they'd never do? Yellow. When yellow. the hell do they ever give you a yellow leather? No, nah, it's never. always like some type of like gold or something. It's never. Yeah, solid or they, they did the, uh, it was like a highlighter for the patent leather, but they never did like yellow. Right, and that was more like That would vault. change some shit, huh? Right? That was more like vault. Yeah, it was like, it was like a vault. Yeah. Yeah. Some people on my Patreon, they got, um, they did some pretty dope, like, babe still looking ones no and shit like that, yeah. Fire. So, now, these. I didn't expect people to really like these. I just posted it on my story. Oh, I know what these are. And the shit just went fucking crazy. I kind of drove here just for that, so. Yeah. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? Like, see, what the fuck, see what I'm saying? Like, I didn't expect that at all. You know what I mean? So, I was like, all right. It's the blocking, that's why. It yeah, has to be. This I, is good. And I typically don't post sneakers on my page. It's yeah. It's just a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But yeah. I was like, all right, man. So, I you got a lot of replies from it? It went crazy. Yeah. It went crazy, bro. Yeah. This is damn near a mood board page looking Air Force One. Yeah, no, that's see this mother. Yeah, bye. Bye. Yeah, I'm talking about yeah these are crazy. These are crazy. Yeah, well, rookie of the year, do they have a uh it, it's white on the rookie of the year, right? For the It's not sale. Yeah. So this is sale. It's um, like it's like it's like slippery. Yeah. <laughs> smooth leather is what they call it. Is that what they're calling it? Yeah. Smooth leather. And see, for this one, it's supposed to have metallic as well. Oh. Uh, black metallic check. And I'm, even the back is supposed to be black metallic. I'm happy that it's th this matte color, though. No, this is dope, man. No, you did your shit on this, for sure. Uh, yeah, I kind of drew inspiration from the Rookie of the Years, obviously, and the Escape Pack. I don't know if you know the Escape Pack Air Force Ones. Or I, I believe it's like a darker brown in the back, and then it's a lighter brown. I don't remember that one. And it's like, like super old, it's, I'm assuming? Yeah, it's super old. It's probably like maybe 03 or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could be wrong. Whoever's watching is probably going to correct the fuck out of me anyway. But I've seen those and I'm like, oh shit, okay. You seen the uh, DSM Air Force Ones? What colorway is that? It says, it says NYC on the on the side. It's like all white and the, the outline swoosh is black. I totally missed it. And I didn't even yeah. know it, it, it happened, but it's a fire pair. Wait, what did it drop? Recently? Uh, Not recently, but like... Probably in the last five years or four years. I don't even know how I didn't see it. I was just like, What's what the, the hell? Um, DSM, uh, Air Force One. Oh, these. Okay. Yeah, those. Yeah. Bruh. And yeah. like, but um, I, don't, I just don't know how, what the quantity was on those because I can't find a 10 and a half and I, right. I only see certain sizes. So, now, these are but those hard. are fire. That's like exactly it has the what double, it is. The double layer check. You feel me? And then it got the... the that shit looked like a goddamn Nelly video. <laughs> yeah, that shit's just hard. You see those uh those camo ones I got recently? Uh, Did you did you post them? I put on the video. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, it's like it's like camo on the toe. Um, Where'd you get those? Redwood SF. I swear. Yeah. 
That was the same one. It was the one we like talked about a while ago. Oh, they still had them? Sorry. Actually, they're in the in the bay. They gotta be one of the only that uh, sell like Air, Air Force, old Air Force ones.